feeling good? I don't hear you. Yeah. yeah. All right. You know, this is a big day. Today, you are all going to get connected, okay? This is a life-changing day for all of you and for all of us as well. We're so excited to bring you this program. So let's give a big thank you, first and foremost, to the residents. Thank you for being here. It's the fact that Mr. Davis told us that, you know, St. Patolf, there's a good group over there, and I think that they'd be willing to give this a whirl. So are you ready to give it a whirl? Yes. All right. We'd like to give a special thank you as well to the St. Patolf Tenant Council, especially Janice, the president, has been very supportive of us. <laughs> Gail Livingston, we'd like to thank Trin Neugen from the BHA, Alfred, of course, for bringing this yeah. whole idea to the Boston Housing Authority. Bill Oates, thank you so much for being here. Also, uh, Waleska, yes, she, she had to go home, gone, yeah. but she says thank you as well. And Agnes, who is here translating for us, thank you so much. All right, so we've introduced a lot of people to you today, and I have a few more to introduce. So look around the room for some blue shirts, and first you see me. Hi. <laughs> What's my name? Anna. Okay. We also have Sarah Hoyt, our CEO and co-founder here today. Yay, Sarah. Around the corner, we have Christopher McWade, our Hi, chairman and founder. <laughs> we have Neil Sullivan, oh. our VP mm -hmm. of East Operations and Social Impact. We have Brenda Lamone, our general manager for Boston Beatop. There's Brenda. We have Jackie, who is the community program manager for Rockland. Our friend Rosa, who I believe you've all met, could not be here because she is teaching computer classes right now at Amory. So yay, Rosa. Yay. <laughs> Fernando Milan, you're Yay, Fernando. Fernando. Actually, I'd like to have Fernando come up for a moment and introduce himself in case you haven't met him. Well, I think I've met most of the people here. And uh, my name is Fernando Milan. Uh, I started working with Connected Living uh, because I believe that in the mission, I think this is a very good story. Um, I know that uh, at times we feel socially isolated, and technology is a good way to help us uh, break some of that isolation. Uh, of course, technology without the people, it, it's an old deal. So I'm glad that uh, that you guys are, are committed to this, and uh, I fell in love with this community. Uh, you guys are wonderful. You treated me well. Uh, every time I'm here, I'm always welcome. So thank you very much, and we're getting ready to go. Uh, next week or the next week and we're doing the sign up today uh but spread the word if you someone that you know is not here tell them that i'll be here tomorrow and to come by thank you very much Happy. thank you i'd like to introduce to you a very special a special gentleman in connected living his name is andrew lowenstein and he helped to write the grant that brought us all together and he made a special trip over here to be able to tell you all about how we got here. So, here's Andrew. Thank you very much, and again, uh, thank you very much for welcoming us into your community. I want to uh, extend a special thanks to some people who aren't here today. Uh, President Obama and a number of his team in Washington who had the foresight uh, to provide some federal money uh, for this community and other communities to get connected, to get online and use the computers. And I think what's so special about uh, what they realize is that it's not just about getting connected and using computers, but it's about all the benefits that that can bring to our lives. I also want to thank the people from the state of Massachusetts and the city of Boston. Uh, many, many people work together to, to bring the resources and the funding to this community. And uh, I think we all feel very invested in success. We're going to try very, very hard to get as many of you online and to help you in as many ways as we can to show back to the government in Washington that this really is very worthwhile. 
So now I'd like to introduce uh, the head of Connected Living, our CEO and co-founder, Sarah Hoyt. Good afternoon, everybody. How is everyone today? Good. So we have a little story to tell you. And um, I, I personally could not be more excited about today because I don't like it when people get left behind. And when we started this company, we saw lots of people across the country who did not have access to technology. And you know what, in the 21st century, that's really not okay, right? I, I don't like getting left behind. I don't know about the rest of you, but I don't like to be left out of the conversation. To me, technology is a piece of the conversation. It's how people talk. It's access to jobs. It's access to information. It's access to entertainment. It's access to health care. It, it is also how the generations speak. And so to be able to have the rights, to me it's social justice, really. To have a building in the 21st century without technology really isn't okay. So we are so excited to tell you that we have now been to 70 buildings across the country and brought a combination of people and technology and engagement. And we took for a lot of people who said that hmm, people wouldn't connect or didn't really care and shown them that if you bring this combination, you guys are going to connect and things are going to happen and people are going to get GEDs and find jobs and, and hook up with family members and get continuing education and do all sorts of things that you might not have access to if you didn't have the technology and the training. Now, something new isn't always easy. And that's why we make it fun. That's why we bring people. Probably the more important piece of what we have done is to bring people along with the technology. We've also made things really elegant and easy to use. Now, for me, I'm not a technologist either. All right? I just like to connect with people. So if I can have one or two pushes of a button and get where I need to get to, that works for me. So what we've built for you guys is your own private gated, nobody else is allowed in, community portal that allows you to be able to message with people in here. It allows you to be able to connect unlimited friends and family. It allows you access to libraries, to photos, uh, to entertainment, to writing life stories, to calendars. Um, one of the things that's going to happen is you're going to have a way to connect with other people in this building. And we're going to do a fun, a fun game in a minute, but I bet there's a lot of things that you don't know about people in this building. Amazing talents that people have, one was shared today. And it's really going to be a great tool for you. We are also, Anna's going to tell you about a series of classes that we're going to be going through where you guys are going to have the opportunity to bring technology up into your rooms. This is an amazing story. So I'm going to let her...